a plastic sphere floats in water with 50% of its volume submerged. This same sphere floats in glycerin with 40% of its volume submerged. Determine the densities of the glycerin and the sphere. I've drawn these two plastic spheres and then now we're going to put it inside of these two fluid which is going to be the water and the glycerin. So firstly we take a look at the first sentence where we have the plastic sphere floats in water with 50% of its volume submerged. So with that I'm going to draw the water line or the water level half of the sphere because we know that 50% of the volume of our plastic sphere is below the water level. So this is going to be 50% of its volume. And then I'm going to put it water. I'm going to label it as water. And then now we're going to take a look at the second sentence. So the same sphere floats in glycerin with 40% of its volume submerged. So only 40% of the volume is below the glycerin level. So now we're going to take a look at this formula where we have the object that is actually partially submerged under the fluid, which is the density of the object over the density of the fluid will be equal to the volume of the fluid over the volume of the object. And then we know that the volume of water, which is a constant, is going to be 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So we're going to firstly start with the first situation here. So we're going to write down the formula again. So the density of the object will be the plastic sphere. Our object is the plastic sphere over the density of the fluid. We, where we have here is actually the water. So density of the object over the density of water equal to the volume of water over the volume of the object. Then now we're going to put um, whatever information that we have already know, which is going to be finding the density of the object, the rest of the parameters, we can actually put it inside of the formula. The density of water will be 1000 kilogram per meter cube. And then we have the volume of water displaced by the object, which is going to be half or I'm going to put just 50 or 50% 50 of the entire volume and then divide by the volume of the object which is 100% of the volume. Okay, so we assume that the volume, the entire volume is going to be 100% and then the volume displaced by the object is going to be half of the total volume. So moving on now, if we calculate this, the density of the object the density of plastic is going to be 500 kilogram per meter cube. But the question asks us to determine the density of not only the sphere, which we have already obtained, but also the density of glycerin. So moving on, we're going to repeat the same formula, the density of the object over the density of the fluid, which is going to be glycerin equal to the volume of glycerin over the volume of the object. So the density of the object we have already obtained, which is going to be 500 kilogram per meter cube over the density of the glycerin, which is this unknown that we need to obtain, equal to the volume of the glycerin displaced by the object is going to be 40% and then we divide with the entire volume of the object, which is going to be 100%. So with that, we can solve the right part of the formula, which is going to be 0 0.4. And then this one is going to remain 500. 
and then the density of the glycerin I'm going to bring it to the other side so instead of being divided here so it will be now multiplied the density of glycerin so I'm going to continue at this column so the density of glycerin is equal to 500 over 0 0.4 so the density of glycerin, if you calculate this value, will be 1,250 kilogram per meter cube. So these are our two final answers.